In this session today, there were two presentations. One, it was the randomized trial running by the LISA, and Steve Leguil demonstrated a significant benefit of the rituximab maintenance after stem cell transplant compared to the observation after stem cell transplant. The study for the first time was used only DHAP regimen as the induction, so it's a RCHOP free uh, induction regimen. Then the patient uh, proceed to the stem cell transplant and 80% of the patients uh, could be randomized to the rituximab maintenance or observation. Uh, around the 200 patients in both arm uh, were treated or observed and for the first time it has been a signif demonstrated a significant improvement not only in the primary endpoint in the even free survival but also in a progression free survival and the patients who were randomized to the rituximab maintenance have a significantly reduced risk to die almost by the 50%. So for the first time, we have really uh, information that these patients can benefit from the rituximab maintenance. There are, of course, several questions. The rituximab maintenance was held for three years. Normally, we do it for two years. Uh, the other question is that uh, we do not have the final MRD analysis. So the question is if MRD the majority of patients were MRD negative, but if MRD retained the prognostic role when we apply the rituximab maintenance. 